good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your time and depending on when you're going to be seeing this video it's about your boy cost reps corner like i always tell you guys it's my corner it's your corner and it's a corner i don't want to fall in love i just want to have some fun yeah i don't want to fall in love some upstars have been campaigning to be chiefs push push follow up every time you will come one on grammar or the other. I said, no. These people cannot go to the bomber. They don't go to the bomber. The natural habitat. Even with the commandant from Boma, the Boma is still Boma. <laughs> we have been to, to, the, to the NDA for a number of occasions. If you go there, check why the position of the flag of Boma Battalion. Natural habitat. <laughs> Even when everybody was there from Boma to Seventy, Commander NDA, NDA with all his innovation, with everything, he had carried NDA to greater heights in all respect. But he didn't carry Boma. <laughs> <laughs> you pass out from the academy now, you are airborne, you are amphibious, you are a ranger, you are instructor, you are everything, but Boma is Boma. <laughs> he just like said he's a natural habitat. I'm very pleased to be here to see a lot of officers. I wish I had time to talk to some, but I'm just sitting here for some time. Some are looking at me with bad eye. <laughs> My room is better be careful. From there, they're just looking at me anyhow. There are some are wearing glasses. Some armor officers I'm not seen for some time. They are here. I call Margaret an officer, a man, answer. <laughs> I thought I would hear answer from the journalist that has carried him with a general in honor. Sometimes they say those who don't know. It's very pleasing to be here to see the faces of very senior officers, very committed, dedicated officers that you can task and they can deliver. I always say that I'm very pleased and privileged to command this army. And I said that there is no task to give to the army that I will see, but there is no job that will give this army with you that we cannot deliver. And we have delivered in operations, in our other activities, and in everything. Always pleasing to be among you, very senior, senior officers. Even in patrol activities. <laughs> when it is you see one division, you see your fortune there. But the one not in defense headquarters, doing all that things. You know we're in good shape. Okay. They have one of say I'm also chief of the justice. So which is the then the door of them all is the commandant and general defense academy. All right, okay. All right. Mazi one. I say Mazi one, they may answer. All right. Okay, you are the one, number one. We have to find another name for you because there are no number two in Ebola land. All right, the incoming chief army staff, Lieutenant General T. Elamania, Nigerian Army Beda, the Commandant Nigerian Defense Academy, Major General I. M. Suf, OFR, Commander Trainer and Doctrine Command Nigerian Army, Major General S. O. Olabanji, the Chief of Policy and Plans Army, Major General A. B. O. Mother, F. O. F. R. and other principal staff officers, from Defense and Services Headquarters, the Director General, Nigerian Army Heritage and Future Center. He are represented Force Commanders, Co Commanders, General Officers, Commanding, Head of Defense and Nigerian Army Establishments, Commandants of Nigerian Army Training Institution, Commanders, Senior Officers, Serving and Retired. 
Army Headquarters Regimental Sergeant Major, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and great pleasure that I welcome you all to the Army Headquarters Conference Room for the handy and taking over ceremony. I thank the Almighty God for making it possible for us to witness this event today. I assume command of the Nigerian Army at the 22nd Chief Army Staff on 27 May 2021 at the critical period of insecurity that was characterized as volatile, uncertain and complex. I'm pleased to state and report that we, we all, with you all, wrote the situation as a team and with the support of the federal government made a remarkable success in the fight against insurgency and other social vices in our country that has today changed the situation for the better. I must say that I'm indeed very impressed and pleased with you all for your commitment and dedication to duty. Through those commitments, jointness and interagency collaboration will have built bridges across the services and the paramilitary and other agencies to confront the security challenges. These efforts have yielded commendable results which are evident for all to see. Indeed, the results speak for themselves. I therefore <laughs> I therefore urge you to continue to remain committed and dedicated to enable Nigerian army along with other services and agencies completely eradicate their threats and criminalities. Like you all know, our operational activities greatly deny terrorists, bandits and other violent criminals freedom of action. In the Northeast, our kinetic and non kinetic operations, other measures and support have resulted in massive surrender of the terrorists and have restored more peace and confidence in our people. We have destroyed numerous criminal hideouts, neutralized scores of violence and recovered large cache of arms and ammunition across our theater for operation. And we are on and not relenting. Our adversaries are in this array and on their own in all fronts and in all theaters of operation. In the same way, the upscale deliberate and illegal oil bunkering operations conducted by two in the South South region have continued to yield positive results with attended increment in crude oil production, which has returned the country to the top of the list of oil producers in Africa. I commend all your effort for this remarkable achievement and I charge you not to relent or drop your guard, but rather to redouble your effort to support the incoming Chief of Army staff to achieve even greater heights. You should remain focused on this set of your constitutional rules of securing every region of this country. Gentlemen, do not be distracted or deterred by cynical comments of unpatriotic and disgruntled elements, but be resolute and Discharge your duty decisively and with every sense of pride and patriotism. Since the adoption of command of the Nigerian Army, we have made several gains and recorded significant achievements in operations, in training and procurement of equipment, and we have also made giant strides in areas of infrastructural development. We have constructed and commissioned several infrastructure projects and several others are on the way which when completed would further improve the army, its operations and activities. We have also made giant strides in the administration of our troops and their families. We have taken welfare of personnel, maybe care to another level. We have improved accommodation, facilities, amenities and well-being of our troops. Our efforts in all fields of endeavors are spread across all army units, formation and establishments. The competence, commitment and morale of the Nigerian army is moving towards its crescendo. 
I enjoy my successor to continue with the drive on all fronts in order to improve the operational effectiveness of the Nigerian Army, enhance the lives and well-being of our personnel, and overall output of the Nigerian Army. And I know he will. Let me say that I am truly fulfilled and delighted to remark that I am making the Nigerian Army better than I made it. However, as I always say, all these achievements were as a result of your commitment, all of you, and dedication to duty. And for this, I say thank you all, and I urge you to remain resolute in the discharge of your constitutional duties. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate you all. You must all remain apolitical. You must all remain professional, patriotic and effective in your operations and activities at all times. You must always conduct yourself professionally in accordance with the ethics, customs and traditions of the army. And as noble and honorable gentlemen officers dedicated to the defense and integrity of our dear nation Nigeria, as one indivisible entity, as one indivisible entity as contained in the Constitution of the Prayer Republic, which we all pledge and swore to preserve. You must continue to make deliberate effort to improve your performance for heightened security, especially at this time of a new administration in our growing democracy. I charge you all to redouble your efforts in supporting the incoming chief of army staff to achieve even greater heights. At this juncture, I want to thank Almighty God once again for His grace and opportunity for me to serve the Nigerian Army and in this capacity. Let me also use this opportunity to thank and appreciate the former President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of Nigeria, His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari Jisiaba, for appointing me as 22nd Chief of Army Staff and for his strategic guidance and tireless support and encouragement of the Nigerian Army during his tenure. I also wish to thank the former Honorable Minister of Defense, our own Major General Bashir Salim Rashid Retired, as well as members of the National Assembly, Ministry of Department, and agencies of government for all their support. Back home, I must thank and appreciate the Chief of Defense Staff, General Leo Erabo, for his purposeful leadership, guidance, and support. I want also to thank and appreciate my colleagues, the other service chiefs. The Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Awalos Bari Gambo, CFR, the Chief of the Air Staff, Air Marshal Saka Oladayo Amao, CFR, for their support and cooperation. I want more sincerely thank and appreciate the cordial relationship, working relationship I enjoyed with them. As service chiefs, our relationship with the Chief of Defense Staff, General Iwo Airport, CFR, and among ourselves, was most cordial, professional, and indeed wonderful interaction. It was perhaps, it was perhaps unprecedented. I very sincerely cherish and uh, respect our cordiality that existed between and among us throughout our table. I equally thank and appreciate all other agencies and stakeholders that were related and operated together. It has indeed been a most rewarding experience. Finally, may I at this juncture once again congratulate the President Commander-in-Chief, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinibu GSFR on his overwhelming success at the polls and his successful swearing in at the President Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I want to assure His Excellency, the President Commander in Chief, that the Nigerian Army I'm handing over today under the leadership of Major General T. Elagwaja will remain professional in this charge of his constitutional responsibilities and will remain ready to deliver and accomplish any and indeed any and all assigned tasks that lie with the constitutional mandate. Once again, congratulations, Mr. President.
Definitely. Thank you all and God bless. Say on this seat, before I go there, I want to recite the toilet of the uh, speech. Thank and appreciate the information she will understand. Thank the president for the choice she will understand. We have children, one of us, and who have been also well suited for the job. He doesn't need description. We are all from here. In a way. I've been in every place to the northeast. There's two divisions, one division, and now chief of operations seeing this army. So it's home. I was telling the officer, I said, the only brief you need is for the finance. <laughs> Also, I think it's something that touched me that while I was even talking to the chief of army staff for his effort. But particularly, I want to bring to the notice of this government for also his humility. I want to say that <coughs> when he was appointed, he came on Tuesday. I was going to the office to see him. They say he went down. I went to a police and block, but they are not in there. As at yesterday, I mean, even this morning, there were memos that were coming from the chief of operations signed by him. As at yesterday, <laughs> asking for approval for hacking Kai, for FOBs, for other things. As at yesterday, by 1845, I got. Usually the two operations oversee all operations, so he sends a trip to the two administer every time. As of yesterday, 1845, I received the summary of all the activities of all the operations in the army, as he has always said as two operation. As of yesterday. <laughs> we were in the office today by 8.30 or thereabout. about. The program say, I should come and instead my Kutaga, go and see Colonel and go to my office. <laughs> then later he will come, that's the program. But he was in the office, he said you cannot come before you and start I mean, after. I I very much appreciate uh, this this gesture and I think it is a sign of good things to come. and keep up the good works. 